Shalom family! God bless you all. Thank y'all for tuning in for today's proper tour. I do apologize guys, it is a windy day. Sheesh! Let me get inside real quick guys, cause it is muy crazy today. Anyways guys, so today we are at Bloom, Bloomfield Homes, and we're here at Star Ranch, here in Goodly, Texas. And we're gonna be checking out this gorgeous model home that they have here. So we are in the Carolina 4 floor plan. So it's gonna be right there, design A. So starting from the low 400s and um, goes up from there. Um, so anyways, let's check out this gorgeous model home and let me know what you guys think. I think that might just be the construction manager's office. So that's gonna be the garage, so I'm not gonna go in there. It's got the formal dining room here to my left. You got this beautiful hallway leading up to the kitchen and the living room. And you have a little, little, let's see, dang, we got to switch up the names, guys. I'm trying to figure it out. Here we go, here we go. Come on, come on, Lord, help me. We got Rachel's room. Hey, hey, hey. All right, we got Rachel's room. All right. <laughs> Y'all, it could take a while. I guess what I'm going to name the other room. So we got Rachel's room in here. Got a little walk-in closet. And they just did notify me that they got their new phase opening up and they got another community down the road that have half acre lots, which is pretty cool. Um, so you're gonna be, this area is gonna be really close to Fort Worth. Okay. And you got this, well, it's gonna be the wash and dryer room, but they're obviously using it as a little printer place. And then this is gonna be your additional room. But as you guys can see, they have all the different selections here. So if you were to build from the ground up, um, to have a client that's going to be building one of their homes with Bloomfield, and um, he's going to have the options of, you know, sec selecting different countertops, um, exterior colors, and back tile or tile backsplash cabinets colors. So that's the, I guess, cool part about new construction. All right. And then this is going to be... The closet here, different carpets. And then, sorry about that, guys. Let me go over the specs really quickly. They gave me like a whole packet, so let me get to, to you guys that real quick. All right. And then. Do, 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 do. We got a beautiful living room and got the beautiful fireplace here. Got a lot of big, huge windows, bringing a lot of that natural lighting. So this is gonna be the floor plan here at Carolina Four. So it is a four bedroom, three bath, two car garage, 3285 square feet, two story home. Got a nice, huge kitchen, kind of like a black countertops, I believe. Got your white cabinets and gas range stove. All right. A little walk-in closet. I'm sorry, a pantry. Give you a little show around the whole place. Look at that. Okay. Got your white cabinets here. And you got a little, little breakfast area here. All right. Now let me show you guys the back patio. All right, so one of the cool things I heard about this builder when I was talking to the gentleman, uh, I think it was a two days ago with, with my client, you know, I was obviously asking questions about, you know, hey, you know, how long have you guys been in business? You know, tell me a little bit about, you know, the company and they were telling me they've been in business for about 18 years. They're one of the top uh, builders out here in, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So um, they have a lot of communities and the pricing is absolutely amazing. I, I probably the best price, especially for what you get, it's probably one of the best pricings I've seen in a long time. All right. And now, so I think they've been in business for about 18 years from what I was told. 
So that's a big kind of pro tip, guys. When you're buying a new construction, you always want to make sure you ask these questions. How long have you guys been in business? You know, what is what is your what are your client your previous clients saying? Look at the reviews. How many homes do they build a year? So just a little pro tip. All right, we got a beautiful stand-up shower, bathtub combo. Sheesh. Got the privacy window there. And honestly, guys, there's actually a lot of standard features in this model home. So that's another big thing that I've noticed from this builder is that they do include a lot of great standard features. So I know with a lot of builders from what I've seen, they'll charge like an arm and a leg for every little upgrade. But they're actually some really good, it just depends on which builders you you go with, you know, cause some builders will like, like I said, they'll charge you for every little thing. But then there's other builders that have really beautiful standard features. And this is definitely one of them. Okay, let's head on upstairs. Got carpet upstairs. I think the lights are off here, yeah. Okay, second deck living room and then you got let me see sorry about that guys looks better with the light on and then you got your little media room here sheesh get your little prayer meetings in here hey man <laughs> sheesh y'all already know praise the lord jesus christ for getting me and my wife here safely amen Amen, guys. Y'all keep praying for us. We appreciate y'all's prayers. Y'all guys are amazing. We're going to keep praying for y'all. So we definitely need y'all's prayers while we're traveling out on the road and helping helping clients out and whatnot. Because it's, man, I'll tell you guys what, it's, it's a lot of driving, man. I think we've already, we got a car recently. Um, and it's a gas saver, which is awesome. And I think we're almost hitting 10,000 miles and it's only been like a, we just, I think just about to hit a month. So we, I'm telling you, we are going to put a lot of miles into that bad boy. So, anyways, guys, so hopefully y'all enjoyed this proper tour, guys. Let me know what y'all think. As always, guys, we got to go to the backyard because it's time to get real. Let's go, let's go. All right. Guys, let's show y'all the backyard one more time. Oh, should I say, let's get it. Oh, come on. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this prop tour, guys. Let me know what y'all think about the beautiful home, guys. Um, I'm going to leave the builder's uh, link in the description. You guys can check them out or you guys can, uh, you know, reach out to us. Give us a couple days to, to please to, to send you guys a text if you guys are reaching out to us. Um, you know, that way everyone gets a call and... And uh, we talked to everybody, so just a heads up, you, you should, if you do inquire on our on our type form, um, just know that you'll be receiving a text prior to a call. So just a heads up, guys. But aside from that, let's, let's push all that to the side. Let's forget about that, okay? Forget about that, all right? Let's talk about the most important, the most beautiful, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let's go. Oh, come on, Jesus. Let's go. You got... Man, I'll tell you what, y'all better be fired up, man. Y'all better be fired up every single day for Christ, man. Every day is a good day. Every day is a day for Christ, you know? You know, well, the Bible tells us that Paul, right, he was like, he said, I'm torn between two options, right? To live is for Christ and to die is for gain. You know what I mean? Like, that's how me and my wife feel. We're like, man, I can't wait to go to heaven. But at the same time, like, dang, okay, well, even if I'm still alive, I got people to talk to, uh, talk about Christ with, you know, spread the good news. So kind of torn in between the two. But either way, it's God's timing, guys. God's timing is perfect. He is perfect. He is the most high. And man, when I tell y'all guys, it's going to be awesome when we up in heaven, enjoying ourselves, you know, at the pearly gates, you know, the streets of gold. And it's going to be a beautiful thing, y'all. But Anyways, guys, while we're still here, we got a good time. Hey, listen, if you're breathing, you're alive, you should be smiling right now because you got a day, another day to live for Christ, right? To do the will of the Father, right? We got to repent, turn away from sin, and we got to live godly lives. Strive for godliness, guys. That's the goal, okay? We got to strive for it. And it's not, it's, we cannot do it. We are weak. Listen, I'm telling you guys, we are weak. 
but through Christ, we can do all things. It's through Christ that we can do this. It's not, our, our flesh is weak, guys. I tell y'all this all the time. Our flesh is weak, but through Christ, we can do all things. That's why we got to keep feeding the spirit. We got to keep feeding the spirit every single day. It's like a, it's like an athlete training, right? You guys get complacent and lazy. Guess what? It's going to come, it's going to come bite you. All right. You're going to get attacked more often. Your armor is going to be off. You're going to be walking around, you know, not in the spirit. So y'all just got to be ready. But anyways, guys, I'm going I'm to bring y'all to Ephesians chapter 6. We're going to head over to verse 10, the whole armor of God. Ooh, come on, come on, y'all. Let's go, let's go. Here we go. Y'all ready? Okay. The final word, be strong in the Lord and put on, put and in his mighty power, put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in the dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle, you will be standing firm. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body of God's righteousness for shoes put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared in addition to all these hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the spirit which is the word of god pray in the spirit at all times and on every occasion stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere let's go y'all y'all heard it right there from ephesians from the apostle paul Okay, listen, we got to be ready, guys. I'm telling you all the time. This ain't a game, guys. It's a war out here. Listen, it's a war out here. But y'all got to realize who is on our side. Remember who we serve. Listen, even, even the crazy thing is, listen, the lowercase g god of this world, the enemy, right? He takes orders from, from the team that we're on, right? The God that, that for, from God, right? God. He takes orders, right? He has a boss, and that's Jesus Christ of Nazareth, guys. Y'all got to remember who you serving, okay? So y'all better rejoice. Y'all better be glad. And listen, I tell you all the time, y'all got to put on the full armor because it's not a game out here, okay? It's real. It's real warfare out here. There's the war going on. Okay, there's, there's a war going on. Got principalities, rulers, and darkness, and, and demons out here just... You know, yeah, I mean, it's it's more than ever before now, guys. And y'all know what I mean. The deception is at all-time high. People are just, the things that they're listening to, the things that they're watching, it's just, it's more and more corrupt every single day, y'all. But listen, we got to stay firm. We got to stay strong. And we got to stay, we, we got to be ready, guys. That's why we got to have this, this, the word of God in our heads, right? To be to be able to defend, to be able to fight back, right? Remember when, when, when Jesus was tempted, when Jesus was tempted by Satan, right? What did Jesus do? Come on, what did he do? He used scripture. He used scripture. And listen, the devil knows scripture too, so he can twist it around. But listen, when, when, you're, when you're grounded in Christ, when you have your roots in Christ, man, your, your discernment, sheesh, your discernment will be able to sniff it a mile. Oof, man, I'll tell y'all guys, like, well, this is a personal thing, right? You know, praise the Lord, all glory to Christ for everything. Listen, th this don't even do, ever look at me. I'm no, I am a servant of, of the Most High, right? It's, it's, it's Christ who we need to be focused on. Not no singers, not no people, not no preachers, not no nothing. No, Christ, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But let me tell you all this right now. Praise the Lord because he gives me and my wife, you know, a, amazing discernment. You know, and, and you got to be... You got to discern things, guys, especially when you're talking to people, when, you know, when things aren't just feeling right, you got to, listen, you got to stay in the spirit, guys. Don't be in the flesh, okay? Stay in the spirit. Keep feeding that spirit, man. As you're driving, as you're walking, as you're doing your job, you better be praying. You better be talking to the Lord, fellowship, and keep talking, keep talking about Christ, and just keep going, right? Stay in the spirit, okay? Because the enemy's waiting for that little crack. He's waiting for that little crack in your armor so he can sneak in. He can sneak in. Okay, that's why we gotta deny our flesh, pick up our cross, and follow Christ. Stop sinning. That's the problem. You gotta stop sinning. Okay? That's the problem. All right, y'all. So stay ready out here. Put on that full armor of God. And don't give up. Remember, it's a race. 
all right? The Bible tells us to endure to the end, guys. And listen, I don't know about y'all, but I'm, I'm going to stay on that narrow path and I'm going to endure to the end. And I pray that you do too. Because it's going to be well worth it, guys. None of the, this earthly possessions, it's all temporary, guys. Y'all got to realize that it's temporary. Everything you see in front of you is temporary. It's going to be gone a couple years. They're going to come out with some better houses, better cars, better this, better that. Listen, it's all temporary, guys. But the only thing that's everlasting and forever is Christ. All right. We got to hold on to eternity. The world is fading day by day. Hold on to eternity. Keep your, set your eyes on heavenly things, not on earthly things, okay? Store your treasures in heaven, not on earth. All right, y'all. Anyways, guys, y'all take care. God bless you and your families. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for another glorious day. Oh, man, come on, y'all. Y'all better be excited, man. Y'all better be on fire every single day. Y'all got to be, y'all got to stay in the spirit. Listen, I don't, <laughs> I know I keep saying listen, right? I got to go, okay? But I'm going to tell y'all this right now. I don't, I don't, I'm not a teacher. I'm, I'm just, I'm just a guy here with a message to preach the good news. Cause I was told by the most high to preach the good news, you know, and that's, that's uh, make disciples of all nations guys. So hopefully these messages help y'all, you know, obviously y'all already know I gotta, I gotta do my job. So I show y'all the house and, you know, but listen, it's just beautiful. Cause I can, I can be able to do, you know, two at one, you know, preach the gospel and, and still do my job. But even outside of these videos, guys, I'm talking to people about Christ. You know, even, ah, oh, man, I don't have my business card. But even my business card has it has scripture in the back. Let me see if I can show y'all real quick. Hold up. Look, these are like little track. Oh, there you go. I got one. Look, bam. Check that out. We got scripture on the back, y'all. We are not playing games. We're telling everybody about Christ, man. Got to get on that boat, man. That boat, that boat is Jesus Christ, all right? Don't step out of that boat, man. Stay on the boat. <laughs> All right, y'all. I love y'all. Y'all take care. God bless you and your families. Be, be safe and, and just stay in the spirit and, and put on that full armor of God. Okay, guys? Remember, even the enemy, Satan, has a boss, and that's, that's Jesus Christ. So just know who we serve. Amen? Amen. All right, y'all take care. God bless. Bye-bye.